What's up guys, my name is Joe and today I'm gonna blow your mind with this incredible new blow dry technique that I've just recently learned about. Now I'm starting with completely unstyled hair. I haven't shown you guys this in a while. Everyone thinks that I've got, you know, like the ideal hair type, but look at this curl. Do you see this? It's going around my eye. It's just, it's all about the blow drying. What can I say? Or at least it's a big part to do with the blow drying. So if you saw any of the videos that I was doing with Andrew Does Hair, you may have heard of me talking about this new technique called flat wrapping. This is a blow dry technique that is uh that's it works for like pretty much every single hair type if you've got like crazy curly hair and it just means you're gonna have to work at it a little bit harder now i gotta give full credit to andrew does hair he's the one who taught me this technique uh, and it's pretty incredible you're gonna see the results and what i'm talking about as we get into it but essentially the idea with this technique is to take whatever your hair type is and turn it into just really malleable hair that goes wherever you want it to go. It sounds kind of crazy, but you're gonna see the results with me. My hair grows from my right to my left. It's kind of curly, so when I normally style my hair, I have it going kind of in this direction towards the back. But with this new technique that I'm about to show you, I can style it this way, I can style it this way, and all I have to do is move it with my fingers and it's pretty much gonna stay there. Just to prove that this technique works, I will link Andrew's video down below. He did this video on an Asian hair type. He had some crazy waves and some cowlicks. An Asian hair type is um, notoriously known for being like really hard hair to control. So if you can do it on that guy's hair, you can do it on yourself. You just gotta follow along. Now the last thing before we get into this, I'm just gonna state it here up front. This is a fairly time-consuming technique. This is not something that I would be doing uh, every day or every time I style my hair. This is for those times when I want my hairstyle lasting all day long, I'm going out in the evening, I just don't wanna worry about what's happening up top. This is a technique that you can rely on, but it does take some serious effort. I mean, what did you think, you know? It's, it's not one of those too good to be true things. You gotta put in the work and the results will come. So if you guys are ready, I'm gonna switch over to just voiceover so I can focus on the blow dry. I'll be walking you through everything. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so step number one, this is a constant, pretty much never changes, and that's just making sure that you're starting out with damp hair. Now, when I was talking to Andrew about this technique, he let me know that using a product as a pre-styler that gives you some shine is just gonna help smooth your hair out in the long run, and smooth hair is like, pretty much the ultimate goal. So I'm starting out with a little bit of cloud control hair oil. Of course, this is gonna help make your hair softer. It's gonna smooth it out. It's gonna defrizz it. And it's adding in that all day leave-in conditioner effect. On top of that, I'm gonna be throwing in some Original by Blumon for the hold and control. All in all, uh, it's pretty important to be using a pre-styler for this process. It's just gonna help add the control. Just basically help finish off your hairstyle and make it look really tidy. Next step, you're actually gonna wanna use a paddle brush, which is a little bit different to what I normally recommend. You guys know that the vented brush is usually my go-to. It's my favorite type of brush, but for this technique, we're gonna be grabbing the paddle brush instead. The reason basically is because a paddle brush is just gonna help keep your hair as tight as possible, and we're gonna be really pulling on the hair and blow drying at the same time, so we want something that can keep your hair really taut. So to start out, just comb your hair straight back. For the blow dryer, we're gonna be putting this on high heat and a high airflow. And heat is really crucial for this process. Um, you're gonna be constantly moving the blow dryer, so you're never isolating heat into one specific spot. And as you can see here, we're starting by blow drying hair straight back with the paddle brush. You wanna make sure that you have constant tension with the brush to just keep straightening your hair out as much as possible. So just take the paddle brush, pull your hair back and follow it with a blow dryer. Just keep doing this, you know, covering an even amount of your hair. Just make sure that you keep blow drying it backwards and you don't need to rush this process. You don't need to move fast. It's all about that controlled, deliberate motion. You wanna make sure that you have constant tension with the brush to just keep straightening your hair out as much as possible. It's really crucial to keep blow drying your hair while following the path of the paddle brush because you just want to keep that constant tension like i said and you don't need to go fast don't rush it it's all about that controlled deliberate motion so you want to keep doing this covering an even surface just keep blow drying it backwards for about 45 seconds before switching directions after you've done this for about 45 seconds your hair is going to start feeling a little bit drier uh, comb your hair to one side for me i combed it to the right and just continue this motion Pull in the paddle brush, keeping your hair as flat and as straight as possible, and having the blow dryer follow this motion. 
keep doing this for another 30 to 45 seconds. It might feel weird like you're repositioning your hair, but at the end of the day, we're straightening the hair out. So just do this 30 to 45 more seconds and then switch over to the opposite side. Now that I've combed my hair from the right to the left, I'm just repeating this step. You just wanna keep blow drying it, high heat, uh, have that paddle brush pull in the hair and the, and the blow dryer following the motion. Now, if you thought that we were almost finished, well, you can go ahead and rethink again because we're gonna repeat all three of these steps about two or three times to make sure that you straighten your hair out as much as possible. So after another 30 to 45 seconds, I'm combing it all back and I'm repeating this for round two. Basically, the more that you do this, the longer your results will last and the straighter your hair will be. So if you still see any wrinkles or bend in your hair, just know that you need to keep working at it. Also, don't think that you're finished just because your hair becomes dry. It's actually even more important once your hair becomes dry to continue applying the heat and continue straightening it out to have the effect work as best as possible. So I'm really leaving some screen time here for you guys to see just you know the process that it takes. Like I said, you do have to work at it. Um, and I'm just repeating this. For my hair, I did this three times, going straight back, going right to the right, and going over to the left. Now once you've repeated this process a number of times, drop the airflow from high to low, but keep the heat on high. You wanna continue the same process one or two more times, and this is really gonna help seal in the smoothness and really defrizz your hair while making the results last for a longer time. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm following nice and slow, you know, pulling with the paddle brush, having the blow dryer follow directly behind. I'm not trying to rush, rush this process. It's all about being nice and deliberate. And finally, we're coming close to the end now. Um, turn the airflow back on to high and drop the heat to cool. Finish off doing the exact same process, but this time on cold air, and this is just gonna seal in all of your hard work and make sure that your hair follicles stay in place in the new position that they've been uh, told to go in. Again, no need to rush, just take your time with it because you're, you're this far in, you might as well finish it off right and don't underestimate the importance of finishing off with cold air. You're gonna feel the texture of your hair actually change a little bit uh, and for the better, that is. Personally, I like to blast some cold air on my fringe to just help build in a little bit of volume. At the end of the day, your hair is gonna be so malleable that you can kind of do whatever you want with it anyways, but this is just for my own peace of mind. And boom, guys, that is the flat wrapping process. And now I just want to show you guys, now I haven't added any post styler in yet. You can see from my hair type how different it is now compared to at the start when it was just natural. My hair naturally wants to go from my right to my left, but now I can easily flip it in the opposite direction or I can flip it back in the other way. Using this flat wrapping technique has just allowed me to have total control 
over my hair and has made the process like now now I can go out in my day and not have to worry about how my hair is going to look because I can literally just take my fingers, run it through my hair, flip it back into place and it's just going to be like all right this is where I'm going to stay. Depending on your hair type you might not even really need to add any more hair product. For me I find that throwing in something light so monarch matte paste in my case is just going to help keep the poofiness under control for a longer period of time. So I'm just taking a little bit of monarch really not that much just enough to add uh, or you know to, to prolong that amount of control that is just beneficial for my bushy hair type. But it's crazy if you do this technique right you will notice like your hair is going to feel different you're not even gonna you're gonna touch it with your own fingers and it's gonna feel like it's a new texture or it's like someone else's head of hair it's it's a very strange sensation the first time you do it um but i think that just goes to show that doing this right really yields some awesome results. I hope that you guys were able to follow along. Again, if you guys try this out for yourselves, just don't rush the process. Make sure you take your time with it so you can really give it a chance. Uh, thanks so much to Andrew Does Hair for sharing this with me and doing it on my hair for the first time for me to see that you know th this actually works really well. Try it out for yourself. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. All the products I talked about will be linked down below. We got Cloud Control, original by Bloomon and Monarch matte paste in the hair today. Thanks for watching and I'll see everybody next time.